Hey boys and girls, today you're gonna to be learning how to draw Jack the Bulldog from uh, the Little House on the Prairie Stories. Uh, all we need to do this today is a black piece of paper, um, a small plate, and some oil pastels. And Jack is gonna be a super scruffy uh, bulldog. And so when we draw him with our oil pastels, we're gonna use lots of little lines to add texture to Jack the dog um, and overlap colors because oil pastels are great for overlapping and mixing colors. So we're gonna start by drawing a few things and then we're just gonna be doing a lot of little lines to make the fur on Jack. So you will get your black piece of paper and you will go ahead and write your name and class code and pencil on the back and then flip it over and you will also need a paper plate. So we're gonna have our paper vertical and we're gonna set our small paper plate in the center, hold it down with one hand, trace in either pencil or white oil pastel with our other hand so that we have a nice circle so you can see. That's gonna be the shape of Jack's head so we wanna make sure it's nice and big. But when we start to draw our lines, we'll kind of go outside of the circle to make him look nice and furry. All right, then our next step is going to be to find the center of our circle, go a little bit down, we're gonna make a triangle for Jack's nose. It doesn't have to be a perfect triangle, it can kind of have rounded edges instead of straight ones, or if you want your edges to be pointy, that's fine too. So we're gonna make his nose, and then his mouth is kind of like a grumpy face. So he's got kind of a grump face. And you're gonna repeat those lines to make that a shape, okay? Then, coming up from his nose, we're gonna have two lines to kind of show his snout. Okay, so those are going up, and then we're gonna have a line going this way and a line going this way, which is kind of like if dogs had eyebrows. So just a slight curve and another slight curve. See how they're nice and long, almost getting to the edge of our circle. And Jack's gonna have some big dark circles for eyes. One, see how big that is? Two, he's kind of looking like Grumpy Cat right now. We're gonna try to make him look like Jack the dog though. Then inside those circles, we'll make a smaller circle and another smaller circle for light catchers. And then we need to draw Jack's ears. So on one side, I'm gonna go straight up from the eye. Okay, I'm gonna curve up and then come back down to the edge of my paper. Okay. Then I'm gonna go down a little ways, go up, down, and connect those lines. So see how it's kind of like an upside down V and then a curve to connect. Let's do it on this side. Go up about as tall as that side and curve back down to the edge of the paper. Okay, then I go straight across, up, and back down. Now, if your ears look different than my ears, that's no big deal. If you look at this, if you look at this example, you can see that I kind of go over the lines anyway when I start to draw the lines for the fur, okay? So we have all that, and then if you just draw a line coming down and off the paper, down and off the paper, there's Jack's body. All right, cool. So next, what we're going to do is we're gonna take our brown oil pastel and we're just going to kind of lightly go over the circle using the side. So I'm having my oil pastel lay down like it's sleeping. Instead of using the point, I'm using the side of it and rubbing around where my pencil lines are. So I still wanna be able to see the pencil lines, so you don't have to cover the whole thing. And I can do the body here too. This is just an easy way to quickly fill um, Jack with a little bit of brown. But then we're gonna add more brown. We're gonna add lots of white to give him some light colors um, for his fur as well. So we started with brown with our um, oil pastel on its side. 
Now we're going to start doing little lines of white. And it's important the directions that we um, draw our line. So make sure that if I'm drawing my line going horizontal out this way, you're drawing it going out this way in the same spot. Instead of if I was drawing horizontal, make sure your line's not vertical because then it would look like his hair is kind of growing in a funny direction. Okay? So we're going to start here in the center um, where his snout is. And we're just going to draw little vertical lines. And you can overlap these lines. Okay? And as you get higher, these lines can get longer. So you can see Jack has some nice long hair on the top of his head. So I started in the center. And this way, they're kind of curving to that side. When I get to this side, I'm going to curve them to the other side. And then this middle part, they can kind of go straight up and curve a little bit. See how they start to overlap? He's got some wild hair. Um, Jack doesn't get any haircuts in the, in the book, I don't think. Okay? Now, once I get to this side over top of the eye, I'm going to start to go more horizontal lines. See how they're turning? And they can be shorter as they get closer to the edge. And see how now they're extra short and they're going over the line. Okay? Now this side, I'm going to go this way. Boop. Short little lines. And as I get close to the edge, I'm making them shorter. Okay? Now when I get to the ear, I'm going to go the direction that the ear is. So little lines up this way. Little lines up this way. Okay? Now, we want to be able to see where the ear is. So I'm going to take my brown next and do little lines this way, little lines this way. And finally, I'm going to go with my black so I, I'm sure I can see the ear on both sides. And I'm even going to kind of outline where the ear is with my black. And then as I the ear turns this way, I'm going to make little lines going this way with my black and my brown and my white. So then his ears will be nice and furry and fluffy. So see how I'm going little lines down, down, and I'm overlapping. So even if I ha it's already covered with white and black, I'm going to keep going and then he's going to look so extra cute and furry. And that's what we'll do on almost the whole thing. So now I'm going to do little lines of brown where I did all of this white already to make Jack's fur look a little bit darker. Like he has different colors in his fur. So I'm still doing my brown lines in the same direction that the white lines were in. I'm just overlapping them and mixing his color. So he's got really thick, awesome fur. Cool. You could even add in black lines too. I'm gonna go ahead and trace where those snout lines were with my black. That would be a great idea to do that, okay? You could also go ahead and trace where the nose was with black and fill that in, or you could leave it the color of the paper. That's up to you, okay? Now we're gonna do some different directions of lines. Here on this side, underneath the eyes, the lines are gonna kind of curve this way, almost like they're whiskers. So they're gonna be horizontal and go out. And I don't, they don't have to go all the way out. I can make some short ones. And then as I get close to the edge of the circle, I can go past that line, but I'm going to kind of get close. Now, as I get closer by the mouth, the lines are going to start to curve down. So they're going to start to curve down. And again, I can still overlap them. This spot in between the nose and the eye, just make little, little lines. And then do the same thing on this side, going this way though. So I'm doing little lines, and if your oil pastel is getting low, I just rip the paper off. Little lines going this way, overlapping them. On this side too, getting close to the eye, but don't go over the eye. We don't want Jack to have fur in his eyes. That would be crazy. Then underneath his mouth, vertical lines going up and down. Awesome. Okay, now same thing. Up here we did brown after our white, so here we're going to do brown as well. Overlapping, giving him lots of little lines of fur, trying to follow that same direction. Oh, he's so cute. Okay. 
right, then we can't really see his eyes and his mouth right now. So we're gonna take our black, go ahead and go over this line for the mouth. We need to, oh, we need to color these smaller circles in white. And then the big circle would be black for Jack's eyes. Now remember with oil pastels, if your hand is on your oil pastel, try not to let it like smear it or rub it because then you won't see those little lines anymore. That's part of using good craftsmanship with oil pastel is not to smear things. Okay, to see Jack's eyebrows, I'm gonna make a line with black over top of each eye. You might have to do that a couple times and push nice and hard so that you can see it. Um, Jack's fur gets a little bit darker underneath his mouth and it's kind of like a shadow. So we're gonna add a lot more black lines mixed in with our white and brown in that spot. If you wanna add some on his cheeks too, then he just has lots and lots of awesome fur. How cool is that? Okay, um, then if you want to do um, the lines of fur on his body, you can do short little lines of white and they can kind of go out over the line again to make him look nice and shaggy. And I'm overlapping and then I'm gonna do my lines of brown as well, overlapping. He's gonna look like such a cute, shaggy farm dog, Jack, from our story, Little House on the Prairie. All of the Little House on the Prairie books, books Jack, um, is kind of a part of, so he's an important um, pet in the family, and I hope that you enjoy creating your very own dog, Jack.